Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems like another day and another June Patch Tuesday cumulative update issue. And yesterday, as you know, I did post that Windows 10 and 11 June cumulative updates were breaking Wi-Fi hotspots. And uh, um, unfortunately, these same updates and the same update if you are using Windows 11, KB5014697 is causing issues once again. And this time, if we head over to uh, the Known Issues website and web page uh, from Microsoft, over on Microsoft Docs, um, this is what I reported on yesterday, unable to connect to internet when using Wi-Fi hotspot feature. And then a day later, on the 17th of June, which was yesterday in my region, after posting that previous video, there's now an issue where Azure Active Directory and Microsoft 365 services might be unable to sign in after installing that update and those June Patch Tuesday updates. Now, just to go through the description here, they say after installing KB5014697 on a Windows ARM-based device, you might be unable to sign in using Azure Active Directory, that's AAD for short. So just be aware, that's ARM-based devices. So um, that's not all... Um, 64-bit uh, and so on and won't affect your 32-bit devices that's ARM based uh, devices and Microsoft says here and goes on to say apps and services which use Azure Active Directory to sign in might also be affected some scenarios uh, which might be affected are VPN connections Microsoft Teams OneDrive and Outlook and the issue only affects Windows devices Windows devices which are using ARM processes as mentioned, so just be aware of that. And um, the workaround uh, is you can use the web version of the affected apps like OneDrive, Microsoft Teams, and Outlook.com if you are experiencing the issue. And um, Microsoft says that they are investigating once again, as they mentioned yesterday, and will provide an update in an upcoming release. So once again, we hope that sooner than later. And of course, if you are really being affected um, by the issue, you can always... Um, and install the update and um, obviously it, uh, the patch Tuesday updates are security updates and are mandatory compulsory updates but uh, obviously if the um, negatives are, are outweighing the positives then just uninstall the update and that should solve the problem until Microsoft um, rolls out a fix or you can just um, until they do you can use those web uh, uh, web versions of the OneDrive Microsoft, Microsoft Teams and Outlook.com if you are running an ARM processor and device and are affected by this issue caused by KB5014697 and the affected platforms are client Windows 11 version 21H2, Windows 10 version 21H2, Windows 10 version 21H1 and 20H2 and there's no issues regarding Windows Server. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.